Are you curious about the immortal order of Melchizedek priests mentioned in the Bible? These are the ones that don't have an origin in the earth plane. They have neither mother or father, nor beginning nor end of days. How fascinating! Paul said that he so longed to teach them about Melchizedek, but he could not because he said they were babes or immature, and that they were used to drinking milk. He went on to say that strong meat was reserved for those of full age having had their senses exercised to discern good and evil. So, I guess this diet where we have been eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil serves us in this capacity then. It sharpens our teeth. It sharpens our senses. It is purposeful. Don't ever let someone tell you that the fall was a mistake. It is a necessary immersion or baptism, if you will, into the material world. Your divine self is on assignment here to learn everything there is to learn about being physical and mortal. Just imagine for a moment trying to feed a baby without teeth, a steak. I watch an eight-month-old grandchild that is just now cutting her top teeth and I imagine trying to give her something that she cannot chew but cannot digest either. The meaty information about Melchizedek requires teeth. Did you know that Abram gave a tenth of everything from the conquered kings and lands to Melchizedek? However, this tithe seems to have included something else, a portion, a tithe of what was within his testicles. You read that right. Because it says that Levi, while he was yet in the loins of his father Abram, and remember it says that Abram gave a tenth of all to Melchizedek, paid tithes to Melchizedek. How does the tiny microscopic seed of a future human being pay a tithe? Through its DNA. Did you know Melchizedek is still collecting this tithe? Melchizedek priests are among us having humbled themselves and taking the form of a servant, the human frame. They are angels unaware that they are angels. The tithe given to Melchizedek is in the form of biology, flesh, and blood. 10% of the descendants of Abram, Levi, and on down the line is given to this immortal order. Melchizedek is awakening within you. Melchizedek awakens with sound, the sound of the last trumpet which is the full spectrum of tones when all of your chakras are activated and spinning. How do we activate our chakras, these ancient scrolls and trumpets? It happens organically as you leave behind the judgments and unforgiveness of your mortal woundings surrendering them for unconditional love. This is what sounds the trumpets. It is a vibrational sound code that is like an alarm clock to this immortal order that is resting within you like a babe in the manger. It is time to awaken. It is time to ascend and descend on Jacob's ladder.